Growbug Tales Chapter 10, Part I'm Not Sure What. This is the writing that I did on October 7th, 2020, 23. Screeches tore through the mist and Tut turned to see several enemies rushing to support their comrade. Tut shouted, Now! And the waiting Growbug Guardians entered the battle. Tut watched as the battlefield fragmented. The Guardians tried to push the Mock Wings together where their size would inhibit their movement and take away their ability to attack the Growbugs. The invaders fought hard, striking fiercely as e uh, at each turn they could. Shining arms were pecked and pulled. One mist bird twisted and contorted its body so that talons sprouted from its face. It successfully grabbed several shining arms at once, pulling a few guardians in towards the eager beaks of its fellow mock wings. That took me 14 minutes to write, and I wrote 111 words. Is it, is it excessive to have like a body horror element to these mock wings that are, you know, birds made of mist, where they can contort and twist their bodies and reshape them so that, like I, you know, said earlier, the one uh, mock wing had talons coming out of its face. Like, I don't know. I was thinking about just having it like flip over and it, because it's mystic and float and whatever. But then I thought, no, let's, let's dial it up and let's make it more horrific and have this thing sprout talons from its face. That's like really creepy and gross. And I don't know, like these are bad things. These are bad creatures that hurt children. So why not have them be creepy and scary? Um, I think it's okay. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed that. Go to mjmunoz.com to leave any questions, comments, or other feedback you might have. There you can find all of my analysis, art, and fiction. I cover books, tokusatsu, comic books, anime, and more. Look around. You're sure to find something else that you'll enjoy as well. This has been a Story Over Everything production.